I wanna know, real world test, how long is this 100 amp hour battery gonna run this 12 volt refrigerator? Let's find out. So I've got this 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery, fully charged, and this is a 12 volt refrigerator that will go all the way down to negative eight. I'm not gonna put it at negative eight, I'm gonna put it at refrigerator temperatures, so I'm gonna say 36 degrees, I'll put it at. I also have this alligator clip with a 12 volt socket at the end, because since this is 12 volt and this is 12 volt, there is no conversion that I need to do here. This refrigerator is just gonna pull power straight from the battery at its regular voltage. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook all of this up and we're gonna get this thing started. So I just hooked up those alligator clips and I started my stopwatch. We're gonna see exactly how long this is gonna work. This battery does have a built-in BMS, so I can keep an eye on the level of power that's still left in this battery to give me a good idea of when I need to come in here and check this. I will be spot checking it throughout the day just to make sure it's on and everything's running and temperature is staying you know, nice and cold. So let's go ahead and get it going. I'm gonna hit the power button up here. It says the room temperature is 73 degrees and I'm gonna put it at 36 degrees. You probably can't see that in the camera at the angle, but I put it at 36 degrees. It is saying it's getting 13.1 volts. And even though this thing is extremely quiet, I do hear the compressor running and I feel the air coming out the side here from the fan. There's nothing in this fridge, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it here. I have done tests on this already and the display that's up here has been extremely accurate based upon the thermometers that I have put inside of here. So the temperature has been tested and is maintaining the temperature well. But I will every now and then open this up just to see what it feels like inside, make sure it's still cold and close it. That also kind of represents, you know, opening it and closing it and getting stuff out. But that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and let this fridge run. Everything is checking out here. We're gonna see how long it lasts. So the battery is telling me it's at 50%. You won't believe how long this refrigerator is running off this battery. Put down in the comments how long you think this battery is actually gonna run this refrigerator, because I think you're gonna be shocked. I have been opening it two or three times a day just to make sure you know the temperature and everything is correct, and I will come back when this battery tells me it's done. All right, so I came in here to check on this little fridge because I heard what I thought was a beep, and I think it does beep continuously when it gets this error, but I haven't heard it beep again yet. But right now on the screen up there, it says E1. So I look that up in the book and E1 means low input voltage. So I didn't get alerted to come in here because this battery's dead, because it's not. There's 14%, it says on the app, still left in this battery. But the voltage on the battery is 12.3 volts. Up here... I know you can't see it, but up here it's saying 12.2 volts and E1. So apparently once it gets below 12.3 volts going into the fridge, then it kicks off with low voltage. Now that beeping did just happen. So I wanted to see I don't know if you can see that. It says it's almost 40 degrees, 38 degrees. So it's still cold in there, it's still set, you know, pretty much on what it was at 38 degrees. I think I had it set at 36. I mean, it still was keeping it cold, but again, it hasn't been beeping for, like I said, a long time. This may be two minutes ago. So E1, I'm considering this, how long this will run. And I think you might be surprised. I know I was really surprised. So based on the stopwatch, when I stopped it, when I found the E1, 138 hours and four minutes. So that is five days, 18 hours and four minutes. And I still have 14% left on the battery. So almost six days is a lot. I definitely was not expecting that. I was thinking maybe three and a half-ish, maybe four days, I don't know. And if it wouldn't have failed for the low voltage, I probably would have easily got six days out of it because like I said, this still has 14% left. So this still has, you know, usable power in it. Now, some may say you don't want to get these below 20%. And I definitely understand that. You know, there's a sweet spot on making these things last the longest. But this test really was for me to know how long is this thing going to run, like let's say in our cabin or in our RV, with just one of these 100 amp hour batteries on it. 
we have power stations and whatever that we can plug to this, but in general, if I can just get a battery, hook up a connector like this, and I'm good for five days without worry, I mean, that's awesome. So I did open this multiple times a day to check the temperature gauge and everything that's in there. What I noticed was when I would open the lid, check the gauge, and then close the lid, I'd lose about two degrees of temperature based on whatever temperature it was. It still dropped about two degrees. Sometimes it would just show one degree drop, but two degrees is what I expect to drop opening it and closing it. But it made that up really quick. As soon as the compressor kicks on, it drops fast. So yeah, almost six days is awesome. I'm gonna round that to five days for me personally. So I can, you know, kind of assume, hey, when I plug one of these things in, I'm gonna get maybe five days out of it. It gives me a good number to work with. I will put a link to every product that I used here down in the description of the video, which is the refrigerator, this battery, and then the socket connector, which alligator clips on one side, 12 volt socket on the other. I'll put links to that down in the description, but this answered everything I was wondering. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.